Right, it was the summer of 96 with the Summer Olympics underway in Atlanta. He went from hero to villain in a trial by media. We got ourselves a suspicious package. We better call it in. It's probably just somebody run off drunk and forgot they left. I still think we ought to call it in. Just take it to the Lawson Foundry. Shouldn't we unzip it and see what's inside first? No, no, you don't want to touch that. And that's a clip from Richard Jewell. Now, film critic and in Kansas City Magazine contributor Lenita Cook joins us now to give her thoughts on the biographical drama as well as a couple of other Netflix holiday movies. Uh, so, Richard Jewell, this is this is the Clint Eastwood uh, newly directed film, right? That's right, and it stars Paul Walter Hauser. Okay. And he plays Richard Jewell to a T. He really embodies the, the guy mm -hmm. and the moment. It was such a huge deal for him because he was in love with law enforcement. Yeah. I mean, he was somebody with the utmost respect for, for the badge, and he just really wanted to do the job. And, and in this case, they used that love against him, which was very difficult to watch. Yeah, no, I, I remember when it happened, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I, I vaguely remember the media and how he became, you know, the enemy. Yes. Really rapidly, yes. you know, and then everybody turned on him. But in, in real life, he was the hero who alerted people to what was going on, yeah, right? So, in, if you don't remember it, uh, the, the Olympics yeah. were in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and he uh, had lost his job as, as a, a deputy sheriff and was working security yeah. at Centennial Park. And he chased off some rabble rousers, mm -hmm. who, and they had found this bag and he thought it was suspicious so he alerted the police who were there on the grounds yeah. and when it detonated it injured over a hundred people and took two lives. Mm -hmm. um, instantly he was a hero, he took it graciously but then almost immediately. It changed. They, they I mean, but in yeah. those moments, they, they had to find somebody, you know. Let's talk about the supporting cast. Kathy Bates, I know mm -hmm. John Hamm is in this. Sam Rockwell. Yeah. What, what do you think? It, it is an incredible cast, beautifully performed. I think that what they do here, two things, is they really exonerate um, Richard Jewell. Yeah. They exonerate him and really put us in the moments of what the experience must have been like to be so in love and falsely yeah. accused. But what they also uh, do is help us remember that we have to protect this kind of sacred trust mm -hmm. that, that the public has in law enforcement and the media. Okay. So. All right, good one. Uh, so let's move on to these next uh, the holiday films. You know, we're, <laughs> yes. we're only less than two weeks away from Christmas. So this is a Christmas Prince, a royal baby. What is this? This is the third installment really? of. I need to catch up here now. <laughs> I had no idea. So the first one, uh, a journalist from New York goes mm -hmm. to uh, Aldovia and she falls in love with the oh, prince. Okay. So she's uh, investigating him. Second movie, they get married. Oh. So now we're in the third movie and they're about to have their first baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As we should. So it's just a fun should. one. It's a fun one. Good, Good to go. Um, it's not really that Christmas romance because they already fell in love, yeah. right? Um, but it really is, you know, this kind of, we it's a weird story. The second one was weird. This one's weird too. <laughs> <laughs> and it, I mean, they throw in curses and hauntings. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but a fun but one for a Friday night, Friday, but Saturday night. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. finally the last one, Holiday Rush. Same kind of thing? Or? Holiday Rush is another, uh, another one, but it's less magical, less mm -hmm. uh, romance, but m more rooted in reality. This is less about uh, that uh, flourishing Christmas romance and more about a Christmas miracle. A family who has just fallen hard in their luck. They were flying high yeah. and now they've been dropped low and they need a Christmas miracle. Okay, so a good, another good one for, for just evening, Some weekend watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, so the first one, Richard Jewell in theaters this weekend. That's right. The second two we talked about, you can catch on uh, Netflix as always, Lenita. We appreciate your Thank takes you on the movies me. and the films out there. Thank you very much.